Hello and goodbye May, let's talk this month what I did about it. I had mentioned that I was hoping that by now Goemon's Great Adventure Review would be out. It's not out, obviously. Honestly, I had a lot of different things going on this month, some of which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. I've been working on it and I really do think that I can get it done by mid-June. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on it and hopefully get that out really soon. As I'd mentioned before, the script is done. It's really just a matter of editing things. Um, I've seen some things that I just kinda didn't like and I've been trying to kinda work with it. Hopefully I can get it to work the way I want it to. Um, another thing I had to do this month, which I really want to say thanks to Matt because he kind of got me more motivated to get it done. I went and shot a little skit for the video, which you can see some of here. I'll just go ahead and show you what I got so far. He was the one that was like, hey man, you know, where are you going to come shoot that stuff? And I wasn't going to, but he was leaving the place where I shot the, <laughs> I shot the video. Um, I have seen him there for, I don't know, maybe a couple years at a place called Docs Games in Arvada. I did shoot some footage there. They said it was totally cool, so I went in and did it. It went pretty well. I've never done anything like that, like reached out to someone like, hey, you know, can I shoot something at your place? And never really gotten formal permission to shoot anything like that. Um, I did do some of the stuff like that early on, but it was just kind of like, hopefully this doesn't matter, or that blockbuster thing that I shot with Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon, I just kind of shot like after hours, hoping that that'd be okay. I don't really know. But in this case, I said, hey, you know, I, I frequent that place a lot. They know who I am. Um, they happen to know who I was. I went there uh, last year with Pixel Dan, Lance, and Norm. And I don't know why it's Pixel Dan and not Dan, but anyway, you know who I'm talking about, Gaming Historian, Pixel Dan, Lance from RetroWare. We all went in there and they recognized us. And I guess they had just kind of like been letting me get by with not, you know, I don't put it out there what I do. And they, I guess they knew who I was and they would, took that opportunity to be like, hey guys, we know who you are. We love your stuff. And I was like, oh wow, this whole time I had no idea. So they've always been really cool with me. So I kind of figured, hey, maybe I could ask and see if this will work. And they were totally cool, totally about it and did it with no problems. I think it turned out really well. So Matt helped me out with that. He was also, you know, this was like his second to last day or something when he was working there. So he's in it as well. You can see him there. I'm not getting paid to say this, but I will say that if you, you know, live in Arvada, they're like 72nd and Sheridan, something like that. Um, in a little shopping center, Docs Games. I've been going there for years and they're really cool. They've always been good to me. I think they have fair prices. I picked up some games from them that I'll show you later on. I've gone there for most of my games, honestly. I even got like some imports a couple years ago from there. Um, and I've never really been like, hey, here's where I got it and that kind of thing. Really awesome, nice that they helped me out like that. I didn't, there was no exchange of money. I didn't have to pay them. They didn't pay me to say that. That's just, yeah. So that's the Goemon video. Hopefully out mid-ish June. I'm not gonna give a solid date because who knows, but we'll see. Also this month recorded a podcast the topic of the podcast was Pokemon, just kind of in general talking about the series. And we did focus on the Pokemon anime, um, the cartoon, because uh, had some guests on, had some fans on uh, that were really motivated to get the, and I don't want to spoil it or anything, but their whole motivation is really to get the old voice actors doing the cartoon again, because you may have noticed if you watch like the early episodes and then the later episodes, it's like, wow, that's really different voice. So they're trying to do everything they can to get the original voice actor. So they talk about that as well. So we talk a, a great deal about the anime. We also talk about the series as a whole. It's not done yet. I need to continue working on it, um, get it edited out, and hopefully out around the same time as Goemon's Great Adventure, I'm hoping. Busy this month, though, I did actually find a way to record streams just about every week this month. I wasn't able to just this last week because I had technical problems, and the next day I was on a flight to go see my buddies. Actually, I just talked about them, Pixel Dan and Norm the Gaming Historian. I streamed Maru's Mission uh, for Yokoi Kids. Check that out, I got all the way through it. Um, I streamed Donkey, well, I streamed a little bit of Castlevania The Adventure on Game Boy very briefly. And then I've been going through uh, Donkey Kong on Game Boy, which is totally different from Donkey Kong games you've played before. If you've never played this one, it's awesome. Um, still playing that. I think I'm on like World 7 or something like that. I think there's set eight or nine, I'm not sure. So maybe I'll do that this weekend. Hopefully I can finish it soon. But yeah, come check out my stream. I mean, it's been doing pretty well. So um, I'm trying to do it once a week at least. We'll see what I can do. But uh, hopefully this weekend, if I can figure out those technical problems. Me and technical problems, you know how it is. This is me. So before I talk about vlog stuff and my trip, I'm going to be working on the plastic to pixels videos finally. Um, I didn't have everything I needed to work on it. So I'm, that's coming. I'm going to finish the Goemon's Great Adventure video first because that's been way too long coming. I started it in February, believe it or not, and I'm still working on it. So it's been a really big script. It's like, a, it's almost a half hour long. So it's the longest review I've done. 
and kind of a different thing for me. So anyway, stay tuned for that. And I'll be working on the plastic to pixels videos um, that I talked about two months ago. Um, that'll keep me busy for a solid two months, I think. So the last thing you'll see for me for a while will probably be going most great adventure, but I'm gonna still try to do like a podcast a month and I'll try to stream every week. So I'm not gonna be completely gone. So for Memorial weekend, um, Friday flew out to see my buddy Pixel Dan. Uh, actually, I landed at the airport and my buddy Norm, the gaming historian, picked me up. We drove hours to go check out his place. It's all right. I'm a gamer. <laughs> and it was really cool. Like his, he's got a toy palace, Pixel Dan's palace. Um, Freaking amazing. Like I, I'm not gonna show all that stuff, but I'll show you what he's shown you. Um, just so many toys. It's ridiculous. It's really cool. His whole setup. I learned some things kind of just checking out a setup. Like, oh, this is what you do for lighting and just how he shoots with the backgrounds and everything like that. So I'm like, how could I use this in my videos? Maybe, you know, I don't do toys or anything like that, but it's still, you know, we all make videos so we can learn stuff from each other. I learned some stuff from Norm. So I'm gonna try to maybe get some new equipment, try some different techniques and that kind of thing. So we just geeked out on his toys and his games. Um, we played some games at his house. We drove out to, um, Galloping Ghost, which is like out in Chicago, like outskirts of Chicago, I guess. Rising tall on the wind of my dreams. Rising <laughs> Biggest arcade I've ever seen. There's just room after room of arcade. There's so many. It's just that you can't even like see them all in several hours, let alone play most of them. I mean, we played this and that. You just have to, it's, it's really overwhelming. Just pick what you want to play. So uh, one of the games that caught my eye, I had never seen Sailor Moon in the arcade. And I don't know, I guess I kind of Sailor Moon fan, as you've seen references to in prior videos. Uh, so Norm and I played through that, we beat it. Um, Pixel Dan and I played through several games. We played through Captain Commando. He played through most of it and I kind of jumped in for the end, as I did with uh, Aliens vs. Predator. Uh, we played through those games. So here's some pictures of that stuff. Had a lot of fun hanging out with those guys, driving all over the place. Spent a lot of time in the car, but that was cool because we could all just goof and listen to music and stuff like that, yeah. Show me the meaning, the meaning of games. <laughs> I got to DJ, played some city pop, Japanese, like 80s pop music, really cool. We were in Chicago, so of course had deep dish pizza. Um, several times we had pizza and it was very good each time. Uh, Dan introduced me to a thing called a horseshoe, which I had never heard of. I guess that's a kind of a thing in Illinois. Um, it's like French toast, fried chicken, fries, and then cheese sauce on top. It was like barbecue, bar or no, it was buffalo chicken. It was really good. I really, I ate more than I should have on this trip, and I really need to get healthy. I need to start eating better. I need to start working out and stuff. Maybe I'll try the keto diet. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Hey, if you know anything or you have any tips, let me know. So we played games. We watched videos. We just chilled. We had a good time. It was just the gamers, hanging with the gamers. So what I've been playing, obviously Donkey Kong on Game Boy. I picked up Bloodstained Curse of something. Curse of the Moon. I probably should have known that. I keep wanting to call it Castlevania because it is basically Castlevania 3. They got a new game coming out. It's going to be more like Symphony of the Night. Can't wait to check that out, but to tide you over over at least uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is awesome. Check it out. I got it on Switch. I could still play it mobile and that kind of stuff. It's like, which one do I want to get? Oh yeah, for Switch, for sure. If you have a Switch or a PS4, I don't know if it's on X-Bone, probably get it. It's a freaking awesome game. 10 bucks. It's Castlevania 3. Let's talk about pickups. I have some. So as I mentioned earlier, um, got some games uh, just recently when I was over at, I mean, I figure I might as well. I was at Doc's Game shooting stuff and I was like, you know, I always wanted to pick up Batman Arkham Origins. Um, I just didn't find it. I would always find like Arkham Knight or one of the other Arkham City or something like that, and I couldn't find it, so I picked it up. Good deal. Now, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a Game Boy Advance game, and it is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I didn't know this until after uh, it got rung up and looked up and stuff, and I was looking at it, I was trying to read it. I could read that it was Yu something. Oh, I probably should have just taken a guess that it was Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I really just got it because it was Japanese, and it was five bucks. I mean, like, I don't know, import. A Game Boy Advance game for five bucks. I think I, I looked it up and I, it goes for more than that online. So um, yeah, might as well get it. I'm not like a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan, but eh, had to move the light, sorry. So on our adventures, not only did we go to antique stores and stuff like that, we also went to a couple game stores and I've been meaning to get this for a while and Norm just pointed it out and he's like, oh yeah, Ness. I'm like, yeah, I don't have that yet. He's like, why don't you have it? I was like, yeah, I really should get it. And so it was the right price and I bought it. I believe it was Pixel Dan that pointed this out to me. Uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra on DS. And I've looked at it before and found it for a good price. Got, I mean, you know, Memorial Weekend deals and I think it was like 20% off, so it was a good deal. Genji, Dawn of Samurai, speaking of Norm, um, he did a awesome video on this. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it, why not? I'll link it below. 
Um, check it out. I saw this video and I was like, man, this is totally a game that I should get because I love Japan. It's got some Japanese history in it, you know, it's video gamed out, but it uh, looked really interesting, so I picked it up on his recommendation. Oh man, I'm not saving the best for last. At that bookstore, I checked out the language section. I'm going to be full throttle studying Japanese language proficiency test and two level stuff. So I figured anything I can get to help would be best. Um, this is like in, in English and in Japanese, like question and answer stuff. Um, it has both. So it's pretty good. Like I could read the Japanese side and if I don't understand something, I could look at the English side. And not only is it cool for, you know, learning Japanese, um, at least review of Japanese, it's also good to learn some things about the culture. Pretty cool, I checked it out and some of it was pretty interesting. I mean, this is kind of sort of best for last. I really like this one. I just saw the picture. I was like, oh man, little Frenchie on there says, you know, you only get one chance in life and it's just a little, I don't know, what do you want to say? Wisdom from dogs or something in Japanese? Super cool. Let's peek into a whole new world and then there's a little, another Frenchie. Just all kinds of dogs. It just seemed really cute and I'm like, you know, why wouldn't a bulldog with his pups, why wouldn't I use this to help me study? Yeah, it's got a lot of Japanese and not too much English, so I think that'll help. I'll have to look up a lot of it. What is a pink poodle? Pretty awesome. So I don't have a whole lot of time to edit this. I'm gonna cut it here. Um, this month, look well, June, look forward to the Goimon's Great Adventure review, second, third week of June, I'm predicting something like that. Probably, let's just say third to be safe. Um, early in June, you should get the Pokemon uh, podcast episode, and I'll let you know when that's out. Um, and other than that, I'm really gonna start working on the plastic to pixel stuff. So you might not hear from me for a couple months. As far as new content, I'll try to go ahead and do the update video once a month. Hopefully do a podcast once a month and maybe every weekend I should find time, hopefully one, at least once a week, find time to do the stream. So check me out. That's in the link below. I'm on Twitch. Maybe I'll do something on YouTube at some point. But other than that, have a lovely month and I'll see you next month. Pew!